UNICEF partner Football Club Barcelona, fresh from its 2009 Champion League victory, brought a different sort of trophy to UNICEF House. It was a testament to the work being done to support some of the world's most vulnerable children. The story setting is really in Swaziland, a country, a very small country, far away from the soccer fields of Europe, uh, where many of these uh, championship games are taking place and a country that uh, has got the worst epidemic of HIV in the world. These portraits tell the story of more than 50,000 of Swaziland's children, those affected by HIV. The exhibit was funded by FC Barcelona and hung in the club's stadium before making its New York debut. The Barca's uh, president, Juan Laporta, was present for the premiere, at which he said that the club would continue to wear the UNICEF logo on their jersey and take pride in the work being done in Swaziland programs that Laporta has personally witnessed. When I'm seeing the pictures, I remember my personal experience in Swaziland, and I remember some, some orphan kids, uh, that they were the uh, household of uh, their families, and uh, it's uh, really touchable, and it's really um, nice to remember uh, that uh, th that situations and that we are contributing to to help these these kids, you know, uh, it touch our 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 heart. Football Club Barcelona and UNICEF have been partners since 2006, working closely on HIV-related programs in Swaziland, Angola, and Malawi. It's an alliance that brings more to UNICEF causes than the annual 1.5 million euros allocated on paper. I would, I would never dream of quantifying the relationship in money terms with Barca. Barca is now broadening its alliance to contribute to programs throughout Southern Africa. Laporta said he hoped that having a more global impact would help the club, quote, make sense of its many victories on the field. But UNICEF doesn't expect disappointed I don't know what fans. Next year, but in Madrid next year, when Barcelona are playing Manchester United in the UEFA Cup final again, then we will need to turn that into a celebration of what the world can do for children. Yeah? That's a big challenge for us. Yeah? That's where I hope we will do next year. This is Elizabeth Kime for UNICEF Television, Unite for Children.